Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and um, today we'll be uh, learning about the, uh, what you call it, quick shop uh, stuff. You know, the whole chess shop stuff. For example, let's say you're like buying a bunch of, um, um, you know, enchanted books from Ravenswolf and yeah. You want to know how to make one yourself well to start off just uh, place down any chest yeah. place down a chest it must be a chest I think then uh, just click it click on it with any sort of item um, let's see I can put like uh, let's put like water breathing free in here you can left click and enter in chat how much you wish to trade one potion for and we'll do about like let's say um five hundred dollars and it'll put right there and then you can just put it right there and yeah so when they're you know buying they're gonna be like oh this cool thing let me buy and then um, you can buy like seven or all. Now it varies, but this is dependent on how much space you have in inventory. So let's so watch. If it you do this, you can only buy one. So if you're buying in bulk and it's like yeah, if you're buying bulk amounts of stuff, I suggest you you know clear out your inventory first. So yeah, you got this stuff. Now let's talk about the commands. Q is Q is about only me. Uh, Q is about is just you know telling you the you know credits stuff. Q is amount. You can configure it. Okay, basically, what QS amount means is that let's try left click so you can buy like 510. You can type QS instead of you know typing, you know, like uh, I want to buy 30, you can also type QS amount and then you know 30, and boom, it just bought 30 paper. I'm just gonna put this back. But yeah, Q is buy. Basically, instead of you know selling, uh, you know selling uh, stuff to other people, uh, people can sell stuff to you. So Q is buy. So basically, what this is, you see how it says twenty six. That means there's 26 spots left. So yeah. If, so let's do it on a full shop. As you can see, it's out of space. So yeah, if everyone sells it, then yeah. Now let's do the opposite. Q is sell. What this means is basically it's just selling stuff. So you can do this Q is sell. And now you're selling your items again. So yeah, you can configure it all you want, and it's pretty easy. Q is fine. This one is a pretty unique one, actually. So, you know, paper, and then, oh, no, you have nothing showing paper. Just, yeah. Make sure you type it. And you don't even need to capitalize it, anyways. but yeah. I think it depends. Let me check. He wants slots. Let's use slots as an example because he's a pretty good one. So let's try find QS find mystery. Mystery crate. Mystery crate key. Okay, that doesn't work. Um, count. Yeah, count. 
account. So if you look over there, you can do Q is find fire. Oh, that's right. Oh, right there. And if we go to those cords, seven, four, six. Yeah, fire aspect two. It shows right there. So Q is find looting three. Oh. Yeah, just search up that. Don't search up the stuff. But yeah, you can find this. You can find um, uh, where it is. It doesn't actually highlight it. Um, not sure. So Q is find unassigned. Let's do that. Oh, it actually does that. Q is fine, boss. No. So yeah, it works for um, it works for the normal stuff, but it doesn't work for. Um, Q is fine, the like cosmetic. Yeah, it only works for the ones when you. Uh, okay, if they have like a gradient, as you can see, it's pretty slight. Hold on, give me a second, dynamic Fulbright, just turn that to one, should do the trick. Okay, maybe not. Let's just turn that to 12, and then there we go. As you can see, there's a, I think there's a, yeah, there's like some gradients and stuff. Okay, let's find the sheet, and right there. So yeah, you can find it. As long as it doesn't have a gradient, then you can find it. Let's check the other ones. Check QS, and then... Um, wait. QS, uh, help. Basically, this just tells you the all of this stuff you can do. QS price. Let's actually go back to the... So Q is price, you can actually configure it. So Q is price. You have to be the owner for most of these commands, by the way. If you're not the owner of the uh, chest shop, then you can't really do it. So you can do like 5,000 turns to 5,000, or you can do 50 turns to 50. So Q is... And... Lastly, if you want to remove the Q is... Uh, the, yeah, if you want to remove it, just type that, and then ta-da! Basically that. QS, QS, um, yeah, QS cell. Yeah, you still need to, uh, redo it, so, let's do 50 again, and then, you know, just click it in, and you're set. This also works in tangent with um, hoppers. So let's say, oh, let's remove and um, fifth. And let's put it in here. So as you can see, it put it in here. We just need to right click or left click. So right click like that. We can also do left click, and it works too. Yeah, and it also works if you hit the. Yeah, you can also right click. Basically, just hit either the side, hit or left or right click on either the sign or the chest, and it'll basically update. So yeah, you can have like a giant storage system, and it'll constantly fill. They can they can buy it out, but it but if it's just out of stock, it's not actually out of stock. You can actually hit, look hit. Uh, 
link up like a comparer thing. So like that. And then when it's actually out of stock, you can you know, it's you know no more. And of course you can you know, do a bunch of stuff, yada yada. Um you know, there's not like you know, comparators, if there's like not enough items, you can just make it so that it like unlocks the hopper or something and dispenses items. But yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. So yeah, I hope this helps. So yeah, whenever you're buying you, know, you can you know buy stuff, you can buy it for like three dollars and you'll get and see it'll cost you one hundred fifty dollars. Or you can, you know, QS buy. Uh, you can, uh, if they're, you know, want to buy it from you, then you can ref pick and then sell it. And you'll basically get money rather than, you know, um, giving them the money. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you later. Bye.